Hi guys, welcome back to episode 11 of the 360 Pursuit. And it's been about three weeks since the last episode. That's how I have got a bit of game hunting, but I've been out of people when I've recorded, so it's just a show of what I've got. Back in the good old days. First off, I picked up was an Xbox 360 demo disc for Burnout Revenge. That was uh, about £3, I think. Most of these are from charity shops, unless I've left labels on. Next up, we picked up Skylanders Trap Team. Charity shop find for one pound. Not bad, disc only. All complete, so I'm happy with that for a pound. Game I'll probably never play, so I don't, wasn't worried about the, the prices. Next, we got a uh, 360 game, The Gunstringer, with Fruit Ninja Connect. Uh, I tried the code, and that does work, so now I Fruit Ninja as well. That was another three pound game. So, I'm going for very spent on some, I've got some good deals on. Next up, we've got another 360 Connect, Fighters Uncaged. Same charity shop, another three pound. Done well on some of these games. Then we've got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Figure 2, a pound, so that's not too bad. Ten years of Tom Clancy games in the corner, so that'd be fun. Then we've got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Figure 1, another pound, but this sticker here, I want to get more of these, it's cool. Play on Xbox One. This did have game sticks on, but I left that on for just a show. And I happen to see X, of course. First game picked up was. Hour of Victory for £2. Then we have got the London 2012 Olympics official video game. £1.50, another CEX pickup. Next up we've got Kingdom Under Fire Circle of Doom, £2.50. This looks rather interesting. There's the back of that one. This one caught me eye. Oh yeah, just popping in as editing. So I forgot to show off a new 360-day driver, which is the 360 Model E. So this is the last version of the 360 come out in 2014. This has a 500 gig hard drive inside, so half a terabyte of storage. Not gonna fill that up. Even with probably the full library. Then we got Injustice God Amongst Humans, two pounds. We are picking up the cheap go because it's making the collection fill up much quicker than running the most expensive one first. Now we've got Amped Free, two pounds. Got a couple of games now. What upgrades, cover art, variants. And it does look better overall, so I've gone for these ones. First off, we've got Dragon Age 2, the Bioware Signature Edition. Let's look at that artwork. There's the art past the Dragon and Bast. Same game, none of the sleeves look like that. Very art. It's well worth it, better than the original. Then we've also got Battle for Your Free Limited Edition. I'm all going for Limited Edition cover variant. A different feel. And the last game I picked up was FIFA 17. I, yes, I know I already own this. Picked it up for 1 99 but. This trays in for £4, so we've in with my copies of Dragon Age 2 and Battle for 3 added to the pile. And a couple other anything else I've picked up. This will just go in for a trade pile. Get me them vouchers. That's what we need. Vouchers for them bigger games. So two to four. I might leave it a while to let it go up a bit. But I can double my money on that, so that's oh, worth picking up from a charity shop. Not too many games going in, but a nice selection. Let me know in the comments which one would you again would you add into your collection from all that lot. So that's a good there's a good selection there. I am personally looking forward to getting in into this Kingdom of Fire Circle of Doom. There's something about it what makes me want to play this now, but I've got a couple of games on the go. So that's all my to play this next. Don't forget to like this video, smash the subscribe button, and I'll catch you lot in the next 360 Pursuit.